Don't listen to the public health. We need to protect our children. Parents, you've got to listen to me. When I was a child, one in 10,000 children had autism or were on the autism spectrum. Now it's one in 31. One of the biggest poisons that's still on the market is fluoride. You're getting it in toothpaste, you're getting it in mouthwash, you're getting it at the dentist's office, and you're getting it in your water. It is insane. There are 71 studies globally showing that fluoride has cognitive impairment in your child. 71 studies showing fluoride lowers IQ in your children. You do not need fluoride for healthy teeth. That is a fallacy. That is completely wrong. From 1970 to 2010, countries that put fluoride in their water versus countries that didn't put fluoride in the water, the decay rates fell exactly the same. There are several issues with the misinformation in this video. Autism rates have not actually increased. We've simply improved our understanding, diagnostic criteria and access to screening over time. Comparing past and present numbers without this context is misleading. Also, this has nothing to do with fluoride. Fluoride is not a poison. The studies he references about cognitive impairment and lowered IQ involve extremely high levels of fluoride, far beyond what's used in regulated public health systems. Remember that anything can be toxic at a certain dose. Let's use iron as an example. An essential nutrient for your body at the right dose, but toxic in large amounts. You could have too much iron. The same goes for fluoride. Right. Dosage matters. At the levels used in community water fluoridation and toothpaste, it is safe and effective in preventing tooth decay. The fluoride in water statistics he cites are misleading. Many countries that do not fluoridate their water, they have alternative public health measures in place, like fluoridated salt, universal dental care, or school-based fluoride varnish programs. These are systems we don't universally have in the U.S. You can't cherry-pick international data without understanding the broader public health context. Overall, this video oversimplifies complex science and spreads misinformation by ignoring critical context and evidence.